I'm going to show you how you can automatically copy values from one Airtable field to another. I'll be using this tool by many extensions.com and I will add a role to this in the description. So I have a table here and um, I want to copy these values to this new field. And the nice thing is I want to copy this automatically and the new field has a different type than the old field, right? So if, if it was just a, a matter of like, you know, showing that text in the new field, I could just use a formula. But the goal here is this is a linked field and the linked records here have this name, right? So if I were to copy this and then paste it here, it would automatically link, right? So imagine you want to do this, but automate it so that it always runs and it always happens on its own. If you buy the tool, this is what you would see. Follow this URL to get your API key, this URL to get your base ID, and this URL for the table ID. Then if you would like this to only run on a specific view, so for example, I've got another field here that's a checkbox. And in my table, I've got five rows, but I've got another view that filters out based on that checkbox. So I would only, let's say I would only want my uh, the extension to run on on the records that fit inside of this view, I would grab the view ID and drop it in here so that we only run on this view. Next is the name of the field that has the from value, this thing. Copy that, make sure it's case sensitive and drop it in here. And then next, the to value. So let's hit save and run. And I'll put these side by side so that they're slightly easier. All right, so there you go. So we got our links there automated. And then um, another thing I tried here, which is I, I explained the view ID. So let's make sure that the main one didn't get theirs. Perfect. And then let me just showcase this by if I remove the view ID, see what happens. Boom. This can, do, like I said, this is pretty much like the main idea is you copying and dropping in this field. So this could have been an attachment. This could have been a formula, blah, blah, blah. It really doesn't matter. As long as the new field accepts a value and the old field has a value. Um, last two things here are, this is a, an extension that can be scheduled to run regularly, and it can also run with a webhook. A webhook is useful if you want to use the webhook as your redirect URL for the form. Anytime the form is redirected, this extension will run immediately.